Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 8 students. This is Part 2 of 5 Parts, Numbers 11 to 20. Let us begin with question number 11. A standard six-sided die is rolled. What is the probability that the number appearing is a factor of 6? Here is our suggested solution. We know that the sample space for rolling a single die is 1 to 6. And there are 6 elements in this set. And the factors of 6... We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. Hence, the probability if the event is having a number appearing that is a factor of 6, we have 4 over 6, or, or this is equal to 2 thirds. Number 12. From a standard deck of cards, one card is chosen. What is the probability that the suit is not of diamonds? Here is our suggested solution. Each suit in a standard deck of cards has 13 cards. We have hearts, where there are 13 cards. A spade, 13 cards. We have diamonds, 13 cards, and then we have gloves, 13 cards. So, if the event of drawing a card is not diamond, then it could be of the hearts, of the spades, or of the gloves. Then the probability of this event is 39 over 52, or this is equal to Three fourths. Number 13. Factor the following expression x raised to the fourth power minus y raised to the fourth power. Here is our solution x raised to the fourth power minus y raised to the fourth power is of the form difference of two squares. Hence, this can be factored as square root of x raised to the fourth, that is x squared, plus square root of y to the fourth power, that is y squared, times the binomial x squared minus y squared. The other factor, x squared minus y squared, is still difference of two squares, hence the complete factor of the given expression, or the complete factored form of the given expression is x squared plus y squared times the binomial x plus y times the binomial x minus, minus y. Number 14. Simplify the expression 2 over x plus x over x plus 1. Here is our suggested solution. To simplify this given expression, we will rewrite this as a single fraction. So we have 2 over x plus x over x plus 1. Then we have the LCD x times x plus 1. If we're going to divide the LCD by x, we'll get x plus 1. Multiply that by 2. We have 2 times the quantity x plus 1 plus if we divide the LCD by x plus 1, we will get x, then multiply that by x, we get x squared. Hence, in the numerator, we have x squared plus 2x plus 2. And then in the denominator, we have x squared plus x using the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Number 15. Calculate the following, 203 squared minus 197 squared. Here is our suggested solution. 
the given expression is of the form difference of two squares. So from the formula a squared minus b squared, we can rewrite this as the product of the binomial a plus b and the binomial a minus b. So if we have 203 squared minus 197 squared, we can rewrite this as 203 plus 197 times 203 minus 197. 203 plus 197 is 400. And 203 minus 197 is 6. Hence, the final answer will be 2,400. Number 16. What is the slope of the line 2x plus 7y equals 14? Here is our suggested solution. If the equation of the line in two variables is given in standard form or the general form ax plus by equals c or ax plus by plus c equals 0, the slope can be obtained by using the formula negative of a over b where a is the coefficient of x and b is the coefficient of y. Hence, the slope of the given line will be equal to negative of 2 over 7. Number 17. What is the y-intercept of the line? py is equal to negative 4x plus 6. Here is our solution. In the slope intercept form of the line y is equal to mx plus b b is the y intercept of the line hence the given equation 3y is equal to negative 4x plus 6 notice that if we divide all terms of this given equation by 3 it will be translated into the slope intercept form so dividing all terms by 3 we get y is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 2. Hence, hence, comparing the resulting equation to the slope intercept form of the equation of the line, the y intercept is 2 or the point 0, 2. Number 18. The line ax plus by plus c equals 0. Where a is greater than 0, b and c are integers and are relatively prime. Has a slope 10 and y-intercept 5. What is a plus b plus c? Here is our suggested solution. Since the slope is 10 and the y-intercept is 5, we can write the equation in slope-intercept form as y is equal to 10x plus 5. Rewriting this equation in its general form, we can have negative 10x plus y minus 5 equals 0. However, it is mentioned that a is greater than 0, then we can multiply all terms by negative 1. Then we will get 10x minus y plus 5 equals 0. Since the equation of the line is ax plus by plus c equals 0, then we have a is equal to 10, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to 5. Therefore, a plus b plus c is equal to 10 plus negative 1 plus 5, and that is equal to 14. Number 19. Alvin's age now is 3 more than the sum of the ages of the twins Bob and Charlie. 3 years from now, the sum of the ages of the 3 will be 100. How old is Alvin now? Here is our suggested solution. Let A be Alvin's age. B, Bob's age. And C, Charlie's age.
Since Bob and Charlie are twins, then B is equal to C. And since Alvin's age is 3 more than the sum of the ages of the twins Bob and Charlie, we have A is equal to 2B, that is the sum of Bob and Charlie's age, 2B plus 3. And the sum of the ages of the three will be 100 three years from now. Then we have A plus 3 plus B plus 3 plus C plus 3. Then since B is equal to C, we can write another B plus 3. That is equal to 100. Simplifying this equation, we have A plus 2b is equal to 91. From a equals 2b plus 3, we can rewrite this as a minus 2b equals 3. Let us add this equation to this resulting equation term-wise. Then we will have a plus 2b equals 91 plus a minus 2b equals 3. Then we get 2a is equal to 94. Dividing both sides of this resulting equation by 2, a is equal to 47. To 47. Therefore, Alvin is 47 years old. Number 20. The solutions of the system below lie in one quadrant. Which quadrant is it? y is greater than x. And y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. Here is our suggested solution. For our solution, let us graph the two inequalities in one rectangular coordinate system. We have the y-axis and then the x-axis. The line y is equal to x is the line with the slope 1 and touches the origin. Since this is y is greater than x, then we will use a dash line. For our test point, let us use the point 0, 1. Since x is 0 and y is 1 gives a true statement, then the test point belongs to the solution to the first inequality. The next inequality, y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. Let us graph the line y is equal to 2x minus 1. This is with y-intercept negative 1 and the slope positive 2. So we have 2 units going up and 1 unit going forward. Connecting these two points then and since this is y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1 we're going to use a solid line for our test point let us use the origin so for y, for y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1 when x is 0 and y is 0 we have 0 is less than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 1 0 is less than or equal to negative 1 which is say false statement, then the solution to the inequality is that half where the test point, the origin, is not included. Notice that the solution to the two inequalities overlap at that portion in quadrant 1, then the answer to number 20 is quadrant 1. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math contest drills for Filipino kids videos.